All right, there are 700 people in line for a popular amusement park ride. When the ride begins, operation in the morning. Once it begins operation, the ride accepts passengers until the park closes eight hours later. Where there is a, while there is a line, people move on to the ride at a rate of 800 people per hour. The graph above shows the rate, R of T, at which people arrive at the ride without the, throughout the day. Time T is measured in hours from the time the ride begins operation. Now, what you have to catch on to is this graph right here is the rate, see rate right there, at which people arrive in line. 800 is the rate at which people get on the ride, which basically means get out of line. Getting on the line, getting on the ride is getting off, out of line. So isn't this a minus, in, isn't this accumulation right here? Rate of accumulation in line, and isn't this the rate at which the line shrinks? So you have two rate functions, both rates. Not given. You can have rate functions as actual functions. These are functions. This right here is a graph. Sometimes they'll give you values as a table. This is a function, 800. It's kind of easy function, huh? A lot easier than some other polynomial or trig function. It's 800. Yes. Happy. Easy. Er. So how many people arrived at the ride between time 0 and time 3? Show your computation that leads to your answer. Well, if I want the number of people who have arrived, which function? 800 have anything to do with who comes? No. No, this is how quickly it gets through the line, how, how quickly the line kind of gets shrunken. So this is how many people come. So from 0 to 3, are you guys okay? We're going to this point right here, and we're trying to find this area right there. So we're finding this area, and here's the formula. Because we're integrating R of T, if you integrate a rate, you'll get amount from 0 to 3. So you're integrating a rate, you get the amount of people. And right here is trapezoids. They use trapezoids to find the area, which is 320 people. So that means at this point, 320 people have what? Gotten have gotten in line. Plus the 700 to begin with, right? But out, the, during the whole time, aren't 800 people going through at a time? So this does not mean there are 3,200 plus 700. That doesn't mean there's 3,900 3, people in line at that point, correct? Because people were going through the line as well. So it's kind of complicated. Now, for B, is the number of people waiting in line to get in, on the ride increasing or decreasing between T2 and T3? Justify your answer. Now, this is tricky. It's a very important thing, you guys. You need to understand. It says number of people, okay? And then it says increasing or decreasing. When I say number of people, and then I say increasing, doesn't that mean number of people rated? The word increasing or decreasing always means a rate. So when I say number of people rating change, I'm saying derivative of. So the number of people waiting in line, well, wouldn't that technically be just the number of people who are coming minus the number of people who are leaving? Is that number of people? Let me restate this. The number of people waiting in line, aren't we dealing with the, the number of people increasing is the rate positive of the number of people. So are the rate of which the people are in line positive or negative? Are you okay with that? The rate of the people in line are positive or negative. Which one is it? So to talk about that, what we have to do is we have to kind of pull this thing up to see it. Now with this, the number of people waiting in line are increasing. The reason is people move on to the ride at a rate of 800 people per hour. Okay, that's what was given, right? Now, between 2 and 3, look at these. Between 2 and 3, do you see what's the rate at which people are getting in line? Isn't that 1,200 right there? Pull it down just a, a tad. Now watch this. Isn't that 1,200 right there? Just one second. Isn't that 1,200 right there? Isn't that 800 right there? Aren't those a rate at which people are getting in line? Isn't the rate at which people are getting out of line between here 200, 800? So are the, are the rates on this little interval bigger or less than 800? Aren't they bigger? So the rates at which people are leaving are smaller than which we're getting online. So then the rate at which people are in line, a positive value. 
1200 to 800 minus 800 you have a positive result because the rate of this one minus the 800 rate will give you the rate at which people are in line are we okay with that the rate of this function which I don't have a function for it so the rate of this minus this rate will give you the rate at which people are in line so if I want the rate at which people are in line I want to see if it's positive or negative well isn't it positive because this value minus the 800 is a positive value that's why it's increasing because it's a positive result when you subtract the two all right at what time t is the line of the ride the longest how many people are in the line at that time justify your answer so we want to find out where the line is the longest well the line of the longest is right at that point right there from the previous problem it relates because at this point aren't more people going to be leaving or getting on the ride than coming and getting in line the rate at which people are from from this point on the rate at which people are getting in line is smaller than the rate at which people get through the line so that would be the answer to C and when you look at this answer okay because from 0 to 3 the rate is greater than 800 but from there on it's less than 800 therefore it's the long largest line the longest line is at 3 because after that point more people are leaving or getting on the ride than are getting into line now how do you find the value where did 700 come from because to start with were there 700 people at time 3 isn't this how many people were in line or from 0 to 3 isn't it tell you how many people got in line altogether minus 800 times 3 because over the first three hours didn't 800 people go in three times because isn't there three hours worth of 800 each so that would give us when we do this 1500 people are in line at time 3 that is the most amount of people in line at one point because the initial amount plus what's accumulated over the time minus what's been taken away over the time will give us the number of people in line write but do not solve an equation involving the integral expression of R whose solution gives the earliest time t at which there is no longer a line for the ride so if there's no longer a line want them be the number of people zero so basically are we writing an equation where the number of people equals zero so let's take a look if I want the number of people equaling zero okay there's the answer so let's think about this number of people equaling zero well for number of people don't we start with 700 yeah. plus the integral of the rate at which people get on the ride isn't it from zero to t because we were doing a function time t isn't r of s the rate at which people get on in the line now make sure that's an s or some variable different than t that doesn't matter what if that's s x could be your letter of your first name as long as not t um, just make sure you plug that's be a t that's be some other letter that then gives you the amount of people who are coming in and what is this giving you the amount of people who are leaving because what's the integral of 800 isn't it 800 t do you guys got that because in the rate at which people are getting on 800 and the integral of that is 800 t right so this is I, I I could have done the integral of 800 but it's like I know what that is so they integrated 800 for you it'd be easier they found this and then they minus that because what you started with what you've accumulated minus what you're taking away meaning the people getting on the ride which are out of line hopefully that makes sense